what the inside of a police car looks like. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Your rental contract. Thank you. Where are y'all headed to? Um, that's my business. Do what? That's my business. So. I'm just trying to get some information because he's not giving me any information well, at all. I'm not going to give you any information either. I mean, what do you need that kind of information I'm just for? Just saying where you're going. Make sure there's no criminal activity. So, so, oh, so I'm guilty until I prove that I'm I innocent. I'm not guilty of anything. Well, you're saying that I have I'm to just prove. Ask you a question. But wait a minute, you're trying to hey, look, look for crime. How, we don't know who's hauling it. mass destruction bombs. We don't know who's hauling a dead body. A mass That's our job out a here. A mass destruction bomb. We're in a Kia. Doesn't matter. So it's That's your so it's your job to here. randomly pull people over and we search and inspect the them. I didn't say I was searching. I just asked you a question. And I have the right not to answer. It's the Fifth Amendment. It's the Bill of Rights. The Constitution. I mean, I'm still in America, right? Yes, you Did are. we cross any borders or anything? Or we're still in the United States, aren't we? So this is a free country. That means we don't have police going around stopping us and trying to figure out what we're doing. In a free country, police don't stop us and just try to figure out what we're doing and where we're going and we have to prove that we're legit and that we're not criminals, okay? I was born here and right. so I don't I don't owe you any answer to any question. You don't own me, I'm not your slave, okay? Where so, is this attitude coming from? It's an attitude coming from getting pulled over not getting any explanation of why being told that I might have a weapon of mass destruction, you're talking See, like a crazy person. I a weapon of mass destruction in a Kia. What are you talking about? I what kind of a weapon of, of mass destruction? That's our job out here is to figure out... Your job sure is to nobody. find weapons of mass destruction in Kias? That's not your job. It doesn't matter what it's in, sir. When did you it get the job anything. of searching for weapons of mass destruction? When did that become we your job? for anything illegal, sir. Okay, well you're not going to search. You're not going to search me without a warrant. I'll tell you that right now. That's fine. And I'm not going to answer any questions here without an attorney present. I'll tell you that as well. Okay, that's okay? fine with me. All right. That's fine with me. Because this is America. Yes, it is. All right. And it's our job to find out, and make sure people's not doing anything. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that that's your job. It's your job to enforce the law, not to that's go out what looking. We're doing. You're not enforcing any law. You're out looking for phantoms. You're out looking for crime with innocent people who are just driving down the road. But we don't know who's innocent and who isn't. You oh, okay, so you better just assume everybody's guilty then, right? And just search everybody and talk to everybody. You say anything about searching. Yeah, you're, you just said that you're searching. I didn't. Well, this whole thing's being video recorded, that's, that's, so that's all right. I have to do is rewind it and, and that, you said fine. you're searching. So. All we're looking is for people doing something illegal. That's our job. I'm not saying you well, are. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that that's your job. If you think that's your job, that, that shows how much you understand about America. So, if you think it's your job to go out and just look for crime among innocent people, then you're wrong. That's the job of the It's police. your job to respond to crime when it happens, not to go out searching we're not, we're for problems. We're not here to prevent it. To try it to sounds like it. you're trying to prevent it right now. Because we're not involved in any crime right now. That's all I'm asking you. That's what we're trying to do is prevent it. You know what? I don't agree with that. And uh, I know that our I know our country is turning into a police state. I know there's all these checkpoints and I don't know about no checkpoints. Oh well, I sure know about I sure know about checkpoints because we've been through checkpoints and they ask us a bunch of questions all throughout Arizona and South Texas. Absolutely. Well, now you're going through border. Is that border patrol checkpoint or what is it? It's not. It's we didn't cross any border. No, but it's operated by the border patrol, but it's it's not at the border. I think that's illegal alien or smoking is what they're looking for. Either for I, illegal people in the United States. Hey, I don't care what they're looking for. It violates that's, my that's rights what, as an American. The what, Nazis had checkpoints too, you know that? You know the Nazis had checkpoints and you had to show your papers and and all this kind of, you know, yeah. show your papers and prove that, that you're legit. That's not the country I want to live in, okay? You know I what I mean? I understand that. That's how I feel. I understand okay? that completely. And I've, and I've been a victim of, of, of abuse from law enforcement before. Okay? Why, why is that? What'd they do to you? They beat me up and tasered me. Really? Yeah. For what? For nothing. I, I was not guilty. I was declared not guilty. I did nothing wrong. Hey, I'm a Baptist pastor. I've never even... Let me explain something to you, sir. I've never even drunk a beer in my entire life, okay? That's how straight-laced I am. I've never even drunk that. a beer. I don't take drugs. I understand that. Okay? And yet I was beaten and tasered by the police. For that? 
No, because, because they just randomly wanted to search me, and I said no, and so they beat that's and tasered your right. me. That's right. You don't have to. I mean, well, that's, that's what right. that's what the judge thought too, and that's why I was declared not guilty. Well, they didn't do their job right. No, and they're being sued. Well, you I know, and it was their fault. So, so excuse me if I'm a little well, sick of fine. cops. That's fine. Wanting to harass me, you know. But you'd be surprised. We've caught people hauling bomb material down the highway here, and it's people you wouldn't think it would be. Right. That's the reason we talked to everybody. I don't want it to go down there and blow somebody's family up or blow a building up and kill somebody. Stuff like that. I think you're being a little bit unreasonable there. I don't. Well, we're not unreasonable because we do this every day and we catch a lot of stuff coming through. You catch all kinds of bomb material? We, we catch bomb material. What kind of bomb material? Like I mean, blasting caps, uh, stuff that's federal, that's mandated federal that you can't have it. Illegal. So you're enforcing federal laws? No, sir. You, you don't understand. We find something like that, we call the feds in. Mm -hmm. Because it's illegal to right. have it. And we know that. We don't want somebody to die down the highway. Well, listen, I'm, I'm sure you're a nice guy, Mr. Hagler, and I have nothing against you, okay? Well, I appreciate and, that. And, but but I, I, will say, I will say this. I, I don't think you understand the direction that our country is going. Well, I do, too. Because it's getting bad. You know, they're I, I calling do. out the riot police on these tea parties, and they're, they're abusing people. I don't agree with any of it. I'll yeah, tell you. You know, I, and, and I feel like that's the direction it's going, where, where we're guilty until proven innocent. And I don't think I, that's the I way it should be. I understand exactly what you're saying. Now, was he speeding or something? I, he's running over the speed limit a little bit. Yes, sir. Okay. We, we, enforce, we enforce the traffic law out here because we work a lot of accidents. Uh, well, I was asleep, and so I don't know if he was speeding not, or not. He's running 72 and a 70. Okay. And, we work a lot of major accidents on this highway. A lot of bad accidents. Mm -hmm. Especially people traveling across the country. So the because foreign the foreign sneaky. license plate was what tipped you then, the, the out of no, state. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter. People travel on this. I mean we have people right from Texas traveling from California. We don't know who's who. Mm -hmm. They can have a, go to sleep, have a wreck, and a lot of ours are going to people are go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Run off the road. Right. But you never know. To yeah. stop and visit with somebody, make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. That's our job out here. And the other job is look for criminal activity. Doesn't mean that you. I mean, it, I stop. I stop a lot of people, you know, and very few are guilty of anything. Right. You know, but most people they they appreciate what we do because we're looking, making sure, trying to keep everybody safe that we can. But you ever hear that quote from Benjamin Franklin where he said, you know, those who trade liberty for security deserve neither and lose both? Have you ever heard that quote no, before? No, I haven't. It's a pretty good quote, you know. I bet it is. And, and a, lot of, a lot of this, since September 11th, they're trying to take away a lot of freedom in the name of safety. You know, and it's, it's putting a lot of bad people in power and giving it, them too much it, power. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't agree with our government the way right. it is. I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I'm going to do everything I can to keep people safe because that is my job. Right. And we do a lot of preventive maintenance trying to keep something from happening that's mm -hmm. our job but you never know people hauling anhydrous we catch people hauling anhydrous in their car you know that's most of the public appreciate what we do mm -hmm. because we're hunting to try to save something from preventing it from happening you know if McVeigh if a troop would have stopped him before he got to town, he may not have ever well, did, had that. Did you know that McVeigh was a member of the military in black operations? I do. I do. And did you know that there were bombs inside the building that were planted there by the CIA? I don't know anything about well, did, that. Did, all you have to do, look it up, because on the local news, they pulled out three other devices out of the building. And then they swept it under the rug and said it was just that one truck bomb. But for days afterward, remember John Doe number two, the Arab man? I know who you're talking about. Yeah, they swept all that under the rug and said, oh, is this McVeigh? He acted alone. That was all a lie. I don't know who will ever know the truth. Yeah, well, we probably never will know I mean, the we truth. Hear, we, hear, we hear all kinds of things. Yeah. We don't ever know what the truth is. I don't believe the story on 9 11. And a lot of things. You know, that, you that's know? A, I, I understand what you're saying. There's a lot of fishy stuff about that. I you understand know? that too. So, I understand. I appreciate your courtesy today. Y'all yep. be careful where you're headed to. Amarillo. Uh, he said know, he was I, going to Amarillo. I don't want to say because I, I don't answer any questions to law enforcement. I understand just as that. a rule. But I understand. You all right, got anything illegal in your car? God bless you, all right? Okay.
not carrying anything illegal. I'm, I don't answer any questions. Fifth Amendment rights. That's any so. other? Okay. Don't God bless. Courtesy. It's a windy dude out there. I didn't give you a warning. What are you holding your phone up for? I'm taping you. Okay. Well, we need to turn it off for my safety. Why? This is for my safety. I can put it on record. That's fine. Is your Victor your first name? I hit the wrong button while ago. This is a warning. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not going against your record at all. You understand? Yep. Okay. I appreciate your courtesy. Y'all have a safe trip. Be careful. 